Hello, everyone. My name is Sandy Glaze. I'm a personal transformation and self-development coach, and welcome back to my channel. And what I want to talk today, talk about today is about the energies, um, because I've had an epiphany at, at the last couple of days, um, just trying to sort through all the insanity that's being thrown at us. And we all know that there's all kinds of things being thrown at us. But um, what I started to realize, I'm going to share my screen here. What I started to realize is how we're all being duped. And uh, I started, I was hearing about these flags, right? And as you can see, all of these flags, so I wanna talk about energy. I'm gonna go through and explain how the energy systems work, how they're connected within our bodies. But I wanted to explain first why this is so confusing. So I went online and, and looked for all these flags and this is what has come up. And energetically, there's so many colors in here and there's so many different, um, I'll use the symbols here, but the triangle on the side, none of this makes any sense. So then I realized that this was a distraction. And when I started thinking about this, I realized they give you so many choices and flags, but they also give you so many choices in the orientation and for you to decide which one you are. But that is a distraction to keep people in their low vibration. So I want to be able to um, just kind of uh, put a few pieces together for people to see, um, to help them. Um, where am I here to help them understand how the energies work? What wrong one? Hang on. So I'm going to see if, uh, here we go. Okay. So this is part of my energy self mastery, um, course that I offer. And it's really important. Now I've done this, I, I created this a couple of years ago, but it's so important now to understand how the energies work. So I apologize, I don't have it um, quite on full screen here, but um, I do want to go, go through and show people how this um, the energies work. So if people are familiar with David Hawkins, um, the consciousness cone, uh, how energies work, what this is, is being able to read your energy system. So this scale goes from uh, 20 to 700 to 1000. And what it does, it rates your degree of consciousness. And if we can see on this one, sorry, I'm going to bring that back up. If we can see on this particular slide that love registers at 500, but it's enlightenment, which is truth and our spiritual connection and the ultimate consciousness, that is what vibrates higher. So I think a lot of what they're trying to do, and people know my views on this, a lot of what they're trying to do is lower our our frequencies. So what I want to do is explain how the chakras work, the meridians work, and our endocrine system work. And I think it really comes down to the basics. Um, so when we look at our chakras, it's the most subtle energy body, and it is closely linked with our endocrine system. Each chakra is energetically inter independent, interdependent and works together simultaneously at the same time. So blocked energy can throw this off. It's the meridians that carry our energy. It's our energy, system, uh, energy systems can be conceptualized in our mind. And what else I started to realize, I started looking at more of these, um, uh, the meridians, just to get different information on the meridians. I'm going to share this part here. So what really is important here is what is a meridian? So this is Chinese traditional, uh, tr traditional Chinese medicine, which is not being taught in the West. And, and for people who understand energy, they're well aware of this. But it defines meridians as the energetic pathways that run through the body. These meridians act as a highway for energy called Qi. The body is home to 12 meridians and it's along these pathways that uh, acupuncture. So this, this particular um, definition of the meridians deals with acupuncture. Um, so it's that path that the acupuncturist inserts thin needles. There are two energies, yin and yang. Yin is the female, yang is the male. The energy of the yin moves outward while the energy of the yang moves inward. And somebody explained this to me once. I asked about um, an extension cord. And as we can see with an extension cord, we have an innie and an outie. One is male, it plugs into the other one. And this is what's missing, the basics understanding of energy. And if people don't understand this about energy, it's going to be so easy for them to stay confused. So, so this is what I wanted to explain. So um, I've submitted these slides before in different videos, different um, um interviews I've had just explaining how the positive and shadow aspects of the human chakras work. Now there's seven main chakras. These are, and I know there's a lot more than that, but there's seven main chakras. These chakras represent the um, uh, visible spectrum of light. And it's important that we see that. Hang on a second. I gotta go one more. And it's important that we see that 
because if we don't understand how the energies work, we are kind of shooting blind and that's not what we want to do. And this slide, I think I made these slides up in 2018. It's Maslow's hierarchy of needs lacks spiritual aspects. And because we're in a spiritual battle, this is what they really want to do to keep everybody dumbed down with all these choices about your orientation, all these choices about what flag you identify with. And these are just some notes I have here. This model does not include the entire visible spectrum of color and frequency. The visible spectrum of color has seven colors. This model is missing the colors of indigo and purple. Indigo represents our higher sensory perceptions and our intuition. Purple represents the fundamental element of spirituality. Both indigo and purple vibrate faster um, than these posted colors. So this model focuses on the intellectual abilities. I did not realize this when I created this um, graphic that Maslow was a Freemason. So when we start to see some of this, it starts to make sense that they don't want us to connect to those higher sensory abilities that bring us up into the higher um, levels of consciousness. So this is what they don't want us to see. So I'm going to come back here and share this again. This is what they don't want us to see is how to read what is true, what is genuine, what is our innate nature, um, how, to, how to read what's truth in the community around us. And I think Tucker just came out and said, um, you don't get penalized for telling the um, lies. You only get penalized for telling the truth. And I, I do agree with that as part of the problem. So when I'm looking at what's happening with the energy fields, I know I posted this one before as well. What has happened with the LBG and then all kinds of other letters, they have inverted the human chakra system. And the first time I noticed this was at a rally in Toronto when the parents, mostly the Muslim community, were um, protesting the introduction of the sex ed. And what had happened, they had had a, a reverend lesbian uh, MPP, and she had come in with some twisted fisters with some drag queens, one was called Twisted Fister. And she had held the flag up properly, but this, now it's important to note, this flag only has six colors. It's missing the third eye color. But what she had done, she had held it up with the red at the bottom and then flipped it over for the audience. And that was what got me no, uh, starting to look at why they were doing that. So the inverted energy fields confuse the body, mind, and soul. We're meant to grow in life as we climb into our higher human abilities and sensory perceptions. We're meant to build on our lower abilities before we vibrate at the higher level. So it's basically, you want to get your... Um, you want to get a career in order. You, you go through school and you start to build a family. You start to do those. And usually it's later in life when our spiritual spiritual aspects start to awaken that we understand them. Inverting our energy fields is similar to flying in an airplane upside down. And it doesn't make sense to do that. And we're watching so many corporations right now who are promoting this. And um, as they're promoting this, we have to start asking why, in my opinion. And I think this is, I think I pretty well have figured out why this is happening and who's really behind the LBGT. So I'm kind of amused, but uh, at the same time, a little confused. So the chakra colors, this is the ascension. And as you can see, it starts into the red, the orange, the yellow, the green, the light blue, the dark blue, and into the purple. That is the color the way it's supposed to be. And when we look at the pride colors, this is the ascension with the red on top and the purple on the bottom. And as I've shown before, what that does, I'm gonna come back to this slide. What that does is when we're inverted, basically our spirituality is up our ass and we're thinking out our pie hole. So they want everybody inverted. And what I started to realize with the conversations lately about the flags and so much attention being drawn to these all new flags that this particular uh, visible, spectrum of light that's inverted and, and some of these visual aids they're trying to take att uh, attention away from that and make it more complicated than it needs to be so then i come up with the idea that i'm sitting here thinking who benefits from all this who benefits from the decriminalizing of the p word and i started realizing it's probably the three letter agencies who created the lbgt that put them into the schools because they want to they want to decriminalize the p so who else is that organized because when you look at the educators god knows they're not they're all gullible, not all gullible. Some of them are gullible and they're going along with the agenda. But that's what crossed my mind is that the um, three letter agencies who've created the LBGT community so that they can turn around and decriminalize P because that's what the ultimate goal is, right? So some of this is kind of funny and some of it's not funny, but at the same time, what do you do? You know, we're to the point now that we have to start questioning everything. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move forward here a bit, and I'm gonna discuss the um, endocrine system. 
So, so the endocrine system is tied to each of the seven chakras. So when you look at um, it, whether it's 68 orientations or the flags with all these colors, they do not have a corresponding uh, gland that goes with all of those different colors. But in the uh, traditional Chinese medicine, they do. Uh, you can call this the Sanskrit wheel of Sanskrit um, uh, energy as well with the chakra system. So the seventh is the pineal gland. The sixth chakra is the pituitary gland. The fifth chakra is the thyroid. And I think the reason women have so many thyroid issues is they're putting med giving them medication so that they can't find their voice and they've got a problem there. Fourth chakra is the thymus. The thymus is your immunity, the higher heart. It's also central vessel acupuncture point 19. And my understanding for a healthy energetic, healthy immune system energetically, the numbers are nine and one. So everything's been reversed. So the third chakra is the pancreas, the second chakra, the ovaries and testes, and the first chakra is the adrenals. So it's really important to not get thrown off and distracted by all this, all the nonsense that they're throwing at us right now, right? So I think that was all I wanted to show on the slides, but I just, there's no sense reinventing the wheel. I thought I would just um, use that as an example. So that's what I'm starting to wonder when you're watching the people uh, talk about all these new flags and how they're flying at different police stations and they're this and they're that. I'm not seeing that. I'm still seeing the seven. Yes, I'm seeing those flags in the grocery store and places along that line, but it's the seven chakras that matter to us. And it's the inversion of those seven chakras that is getting people to spiral downward, spiral to the to be the lowest um, form of self, right? And I know in Canada, oh, I forgot to mention this. So when you look at the Chinese uh, medicine, traditional Chinese medicine, you can see all of these meridians that are connected. So you've got the heart and the small intestine, the bladder and the kidney, uh, triple warmer and circulation sex, which deals with your ovaries and testes, the gallbladder and the liver, the lung and the large intestine, the stomach and the spleen. And they don't want us seeing that. And I'm not, um, they don't want us knowing how the, the energies work, that's for sure. Hang on a sec, I'm gonna share one more. So here, even the 12 major meridians, so uh, heart, lungs, but two of them, they're, they're paired is how this works, right? And as you can see, the central and governing uh, meridians are in the middle, but all of these meridians interact together. So they work independently and they work um, together. So this is just a really interesting take when I'm starting to watch how they don't want us seeing what's really going on energetically. And I know I've shown this, so Canada is the Ukraine of the West, blah, blah, blah. I've shown this before as well. When you look at our money system, the five is the higher, the 10 is the purple is the higher energetic um, energy, but they give the lower denominations to the higher colors. Uh, the green is, is the 20, the 50 is the, um, like would you call it a salmon color or an orange and a, and a red, a combination of orange and red. So they're really trying to invert the energy to keep us playing as small as we can. But the point I really want to drive home is I think it's the three letter agencies who created LBGT because these people are not smart enough. There's, there's a lot of ugly out there. I get that. But the people in the education system, they're not smart enough to come up with the publishers who are creating the books or getting them into the library and the distribution and even the the people who celebrate that, you've seen them in the in the pride parades, their parades, they're not here to do any kind of organizational setup. They're here just to enjoy the fruits of whatever they call their labor, right? But we start to see how um, organized all this is. Who else, who else would be this deviant? And I know from having a few of them call me at different times, just they are deviant. And who benefits, but probably them. So if you like this video, I ask that you share it and uh, please hit the like and subscribe button and let's start getting this information out because um, we're up against some pretty dark energy still and I know the darkness is not going to go lie down anytime soon, but um, what I'm hoping to do is sh start showing more people uh, how the energies work so that they can realize how they're being duped and all these new flags. That's just a smoke screen to keep you from not noticing the inversion of the energy field. That is my personal opinion. That is what they don't want you to see, that they've inverted it. So that's the basic visible spectrum of light. So again, if you like this, be sure to share it. And I hope everybody has a great weekend. Take good care, people. Bye.